Have you ever pondered the concept of nothing? What is it really? Is it simply emptiness or void? Or could it be more complex than that? As we embark on our cosmic journey, our first stop is the intriguing, perplexing concept of nothing. In philosophical terms, nothing is often seen as a state of non-existence or emptiness. It's an abstract idea that has been grappled with by thinkers and scholars throughout human history. Philosophers have questioned the possibility of true nothingness, suggesting that even in a state of absolute void, there remains potentiality, an essence of being. On the other hand, in the scientific realm, nothing takes on a different hue. In physics, for instance, even a perfect vacuum, an area of space devoid of matter is not truly empty. It is teeming with virtual particles that pop into and out of existence, a phenomenon known as quantum fluctuation. In this context, nothing is far from being nothing at all. This paradox of nothing has profound implications for our understanding of the universe's origin. If nothing is not truly empty, then could it be that our universe emerged from this nothingness? It's a tantalizing question, one that challenges our conventional understanding of beginnings and endings. Many cosmologists and physicists propose that the universe did indeed originate from nothing. They argue that quantum fluctuations within the vacuum of nothingness could have given rise to the Big Bang, the explosive event that marked the birth of our universe. Yet, this perspective opens up a whole new can of worms. If the universe sprang from nothing, what triggered the quantum fluctuations in the first place? And can we even apply concepts like before and after to a realm outside of space and time? As we delve deeper into these profound questions, we realize that nothing is not just a simple concept. It's a rich, complex idea that sits at the very heart of our quest to understand the universe and its origins. Just as every story has a beginning, the universe's tale might have started from this fascinating concept of nothingness. Our cosmic journey takes us back in time to the very birth of the universe as proposed by the Big Bang Theory. This theory, which has become the cornerstone of modern cosmology, paints a picture of a universe originating from a singularity, an infinitely small, hot and dense point. In a fraction of a second, this singularity expanded exponentially, giving rise to the universe we know today. The Big Bang Theory, however, is not just about an explosion that happened somewhere in space. It's about space itself expanding. Imagine a balloon inflating. The surface of the balloon represents space, and as the balloon inflates, the surface expands. This is how the universe expanded and continues to expand. This theory has transformed our understanding of the universe and its origins. Prior to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was thought to be static, unchanging. The idea that the universe had a beginning was a radical shift in perspective. It opened up a new realm of questions about what existed before the Big Bang, what caused it, and why the universe is the way it is today. The Big Bang Theory also gave us insights into the fundamental forces of nature. In the extreme conditions of the early universe, these forces were unified, existing as a single superforce. As the universe cooled and expanded, these forces separated into the four distinct forces we recognize today. Gravity, electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces. But the Big Bang Theory, despite its profound implications, is not the end of the story. It is a part of a larger, grander narrative of the cosmos. It does not explain why the Big Bang happened or what caused it. These questions mark the boundary of our current understanding, a frontier that scientists are still striving to push. The Big Bang Theory might have revolutionized our understanding, but it is only a part of the grand cosmic tale. It's a chapter in a book that is still being written, a book that tells the story of the universe and its origins, where we came from and perhaps where we are going. Delving deeper into the quantum realm, we encounter a new kind of nothing, a place where particles pop in and out of existence. In this extraordinary world, we find quantum fluctuations which challenge our everyday understanding of reality. These fluctuations are temporary changes in the amount of energy in a point in space, a result of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. This principle, one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics, states that we cannot precisely know both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. This uncertainty allows for the creation and annihilation of particle-antiparticle pairs, often referred to as virtual particles. They blink in and out of existence, borrowing energy from the universe for their brief lives only to vanish, returning the energy they borrowed. 
This constant, frenzied activity is happening all around us, even in what we perceive as empty space. Now, how does this tie into the origin of the universe? Some cosmologists propose that our universe could have sprung from these quantum fluctuations. The theory suggests that approximately 14 billion years ago, a quantum fluctuation occurred that was so significant, it resulted in the Big Bang. This tiny initial fluctuation, magnified by inflation, could have given birth to all the matter and energy we see in our universe today. However, this is just one of many theories. The quantum realm is still shrouded in mystery, and much of it remains unexplored. As we continue to delve into the quantum world, we may uncover more about the origins of our universe and the nature of reality itself. Even in the seemingly empty void, the universe continues to surprise us with its quantum magic. It is a realm where nothingness is not truly nothing, where matter and energy spring from emptiness and where the origins of our universe may lie. Quantum fluctuations serve as a reminder that in the cosmos, even nothingness can hold the potential for everything. Moving beyond the scientific realm, we explore the philosophical interpretations of the universe's origin. The philosophical contemplation of the cosmos has been a pursuit as old as human thought itself. The ancients pondered the nature of the universe and its origins, leading to a myriad of beliefs and theories. Take, for instance, the ancient Greeks. They believed in a cosmos that was eternal and uncreated. Parmenides, a pre-Socratic philosopher, argued that nothing cannot exist and therefore the universe must have always been. This concept contrasts with the idea of creation ex nihilo, or out of nothing, which is rooted in many religious traditions. This belief posits a divine creator as the origin of the universe, bringing it into existence from absolute nothingness. In the East, Hindu cosmology presents the idea of a cyclic universe, born and reborn in an endless cycle of creation, preservation and destruction. The Buddhist philosophy, on the other hand, refrains from speculating about the universe's origin, focusing instead on the nature of existence and suffering. More contemporary philosophies engage with the universe's origin in relation to the concepts of time, causality and infinity. The philosopher Immanuel Kant suggested that both the ideas of an eternal universe and a created universe are beyond human comprehension. He argued that our understanding of time and causality might not apply to the universe's origin, a notion that resonates with modern cosmological theories. As we delve into these philosophical interpretations, we see that the question of the universe's origin is not simply a scientific one. It transcends empirical evidence and mathematical models, entering the realms of metaphysics, theology and philosophy. Philosophy reminds us that the universe's origin might be more than just a scientific question. It's a mystery that challenges the boundaries of human understanding, provoking us to question the very nature of existence itself. Venturing into the uncharted territories of cosmology, we encounter the concept of the multiverse. This notion paints a picture of not just one, but an infinite number of universes coexisting in a grand cosmic ensemble. Each universe, like ours, can be thought of as an independent entity, with its own laws of physics, its own history, and perhaps its own unique manifestation of reality. The multiverse hypotheses come in various flavors. There's the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where every quantum decision spawns a new universe. There's the bubble universe theory, where our universe is just one bubble in an infinite cosmic foam. And then there's the brain multiverse concept, where our universe is one of many brain worlds floating in higher dimensional space. It's important to note that these are hypotheses, not established facts. They're provisional ideas that attempt to explain some of the most perplexing questions about our universe's origin. For instance, why do the fundamental constants of nature have the exact values that allow for the existence of galaxies, stars, planets and life as we know it? The multiverse hypotheses offer a potential answer. In an infinite ensemble of universes, all combinations of constants are tried out somewhere. We just happen to live in a universe where the conditions are right for our existence. However, these hypotheses also raise new questions. If there are infinite universes, how do we define nothing? Does nothing even have a meaning in such a context? And what about the origin of the multiverse itself? 
the multiverse hypotheses open a whole new realm of possibilities, adding more layers to the grand cosmic narrative. They remind us that our understanding of the cosmos is still evolving, and that the journey of discovery is far from over. As we continue to explore, we can be sure of one thing. The universe, or perhaps multiverse, is far more mysterious and wondrous than we could ever have imagined.